Good day everyone, I am Nicole Alcobar from ECHO 31 and I am going to talk about Law of Variable Proportion. Law of Variable Proportion, or also known as Return to A Factor, plays an important role in the study of theory of production. But before I elaborate the Law of Variable Proportion, let me give you a brief explanation on what the theory of production is. Theory of production explains the principle in which the business has to take decisions on how much of each commodity it sells and how much it produces, and also how much of raw material, fixed capital, and labor it employs, and how much it will use. Theory of production explains that every business should know how much of things they should invest with, for every business doesn't want to experience bankruptcy. Law of variable proportion states that as the quantity of one factor is increased, keeping the other factors fixed, the marginal product of that factor will eventually decline. Based on the definition, there are two factors that needs to be considered. These are the variable factor and the fixed factor. Variable factor means changing factor. Example of this is labor, because a certain business employs more employees depends on how much employee they need, while fixed factor means, from the word itself, fixed or unchangeable. If it change, it requires a period of time. Example of this is land. Based on the definition of law of variable proportion, it has the word marginal product. So what is marginal product means? Marginal product, the change in output resulting from employing one more unit of a particular input, assuming that the quantities of other inputs are kept constant. Therefore, marginal product is the number of output produced under the process of law of variable proportion. Now, let's proceed to the three stages of law of variable proportion. These are the increasing return, diminishing return, negative return. But before I tackle these stages thoroughly, let me tell to you the assumptions in law of variable proportion first. Assumptions in law of variable proportion First, constant technology. The state of technology is assumed to be given and unchanged. If there is improvement in the technology, then marginal and average products may rise instead of diminishing. Second, Factor proportions are variable. The law assumes that factor proportions are variable. If factors of productions are to be combined in the fixed proportion, the law has no validity. Third, homogeneous factor units. The units of variable factor are homogeneous. Each unit is identical in quality and amount with every other unit. Now that we know all the assumptions, let me give you an example for us to deeply understand what law of variable proportion is. We take the example of agriculture. Suppose land and labor are the only two factors of production. Land as a fixed factor and labor as a variable factor. From first to third units of labor, the total production, average production, and marginal production increases. But when the fourth unit of labor comes into place, the marginal production starts to diminish. It continues to diminish up until to the seventh unit. But when another unit of labor adds up, the marginal production starts to get negative. From the table shown, it is clear that there are three stages of the law of variable proportion. In the first stage, average product increases, marginal product increases, and also the total product. This stage of increasing output by increasing labor does not last for a long time. In the second stage, the total production continues to increase at a diminishing rate until it reaches its maximum point where the second stage ends. In the third stage, the total production decreases, the marginal product falls to zero and then is negative. So that is how the law of variable proportion works. I hope you learned something. Thank you.